Hello my friends. So, you need to understand what is in this video. You and everyone you know needs to understand what I'm about to say. So for that reason, click the like button. YouTube will show it to more people. Leave a comment. YouTube will show it to more people. And share the video with all your friends and colleagues. Because we need to be understanding this. So, I'm going to take a topic that is very complex and reduce it down to its simplest terms because I think that's what's important. It's not true intelligence is not being able to understand complexity. It's being able to see the simple hidden within the complex. Understand? Now I also understand the nature of the beast and I understand the nature of this platform. And so therefore, I will be speaking very deliberately with carefully chosen words. Very deliberately. So, here it is. Each cell in your body knows how to be that particular type of cell based upon a set of instructions that it has received. A blueprint that tells it how to be a liver cell, how to be a blood cell, how to be a brain cell. And it tells it how to perform whatever function it is meant to perform. In that it's a very detailed set of instructions. Okay. The body produces what are called stem cells, and these are like blank slates. They're just a cell that does not yet know what kind of function it's to perform. The body then takes these instructions, hands it to the cell, and says, go be a brain cell, go be a heart cell, go be a liver cell, yada yada. And that's exactly what the cell does, because it always follows the blueprint. It always follows the instructions. Now, we call these instructions genes and DNA. All right. So now let us suppose, completely hypothetically, the scenario has no basis in current events whatsoever. But let us say hypothetically that there is a certain substance that goes in and erases part of that blueprint and rewrites its own instructions on how it wants the cell to perform. And it then hands it to the cell, who then takes it unquestioningly, because that's what the cell does, and then performs that modified function. Now, some people's body are going to be able to accept this kind of modification. Their cells are going to say, okay, we can do that and they will begin functioning in that new modified way, in whatever way that is. Some people's bodies, however, are not going to be able to accept that level of modification. And their bodies, their cells, are going to recognize something's not right. And it's going to say, whoa, 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 stop the press, something's not right. All right, there's a glitch. It's going to recognize a glitch. Now. When you have a glitch in your computer, or something's not right with your phone, or whatever, what's the first thing you do? You reboot it. You turn it off and back on. All right. So the body is going to recognize the glitch in the instructions and say, okay, reboot, reboot. We got to try and go back to the old way. Because the body's got this level of natural intelligence. So it's going to say reboot. And now, this process of rebooting is going to have consequences. And these consequences are going to express themselves in many, many different ways. In fact, the consequences of this rebooting process will express themselves in as many different ways as there are different people, different genetic codes and makeups. So there's no one way to tell. The consequence may manifest as issues with the lungs. 
It may also manifest as issues with the brain and behavior. It may also manifest as issues with the heart or any number of ways. So now, to the ones that can accept this genetic code, this new genetic modification, rewritten instructions, to the ones that can accept that, they will say, okay, give them to me, boom. They go to work immediately with the new instructions. Now, when it's time for, when their job is done, their shift is finished, and second shift comes in, many of the cells in the body are dividing. They divide, they multiply, we know this. And so many of these cells, when they finish their shift and second shift comes in, they're going to say, all right, I did my job, guys, with the new instructions. Here's the new instructions. And that cell is going to give the modified instructions to the two cells that is going to relieve it. And they're going to do their job in the modified way, whatever that is. And then they're going to give the instructions to the four that relieve it. And those four will give it to the eight that will give it to the 16, the 32, the 64, to the 128. And all 128 of those are going to carry within it the modified blueprint, the modified set of instructions. And so in this way, the, the modification is self-replicating and compounding. So the effect of the modification will become more and more pronounced as time goes on. Also, there's a certain, and these effects are going to manifest in we don't know what ways, but they could manifest as thought and behavioral modifications, as modifications in the way that the body processes information, receives and processes information in the way that the cells communicate with each other. It could manifest in all, almost infinite number of ways. But in the beginning, no matter how well the body accepts this modification, there's always going to be a certain element that is trying to go back, that is trying to reboot, that is trying to, that recognizes this is not the right way, this is not natural. And so it's going to be trying to, to go back to the old way. And so for that reason, if someone wanted to permanently modify a human's genetics, they would have to boost or reintroduce this modified instructions into the body after a certain amount of time until they reintroduce it enough times, the body will finally accept it because enough of the cells now carry this modified genetic instructions. I know you understand what I'm saying. And so once this happens, once a substance has gone in and erased part of the blueprint and rewritten new modified instructions, and the body begins to replicate this and to perform its new modified function, by definition, you are no longer human. Because by definition, you are a genetically modified organism.